My life has had to do with being the wrong color, uh, although there was, uh, I had, I found you find strange areas where you're being supported, uh, and I found that in, you know, I know, I knew all these people who worked in radio because I'd worked with them in Detroit, some of them, yeah. Uh, and I know one director said to me, Lord, he said, the program I do is beamed into the South. He said, there are no black roles on the show. He said, I know you, I've heard your work, you can do anything. But uh, if one of my sponsors finds out that I have cast a black person in a role that is not a black person. He said, it's worth my job. He said, I can't take the chance. So you had those people. You had, and I had another uh, director, writer-director, who cast me on uh, a show, a Sunday show for uh, a religious show, or semi-religious. And he said to me, uh, Lloyd, you know, I'm going to use you. And he used me in all kinds of roles on the show. And he said, do you know you're blacklisted, don't you? I said, no. He said, well, you are. I didn't even know I was blacklisted because I didn't work that often. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be working to know that you're blacklisted. But I was blacklisted, and I didn't know it because I didn't work enough, you know. And it was just, oh, it why, was, why were you blacklisted? What had you done? I, what, what have I done? What had you done? Uh, what had I done? I campaigned for certain people who were uh, accused of being leftists because they were uh, not right-wing. And I had, I may have signed a petition or two, I don't know what I did. I just got along as a young black person, trying to get along. And so you've supported something or you've done something uh, that uh, will appear on somebody's list somewhere, which I had done, and I had been blacklisted, and I didn't even know I was blacklisted.